Keeping your Mac in top shape for music production means not wasting valuable system resources. Managing startup and login items greatly reduces the chance of being interrupted mid-session. The login items are found in the System Preferences. Click the Accounts pane. Then, go to the Login Items tab and you'll see a list of all the items that get launched at the end of your computer's startup cycle. Delete all of them, either by clicking the minus button or by pressing the backspace key. Now that looks much more efficient. OK, close the System Preferences. Now, from the File menu, choose New Finder window and click your Main System Startup Drive. Remember that you may have renamed it. Click on the Library folder, sometimes referred to as Accessing the Root Level Library, and then go to the Startup Items. Now, yours will have different items depending on how many applications you've installed over time, but you should have a DigiDesign folder that references the audio interface that you own, in this case, an Mbox 2. You'll also have a DigiDesign Loader folder and a Pace Support folder. Now, you'll need all three of these folders, but other less important items can simply be deleted. Just right-click and trash them. Now, you should be able to decipher what most of these folders are related to and make your decision based upon that. I'm just going to delete everything. QMaster, Retrospect and Tablet. Now, if you used a tablet to drive Pro Tools instead of a mouse, you would, for example, not delete the tablet folder. As I don't, it's out of here. Into the trash, enter your admin password and you're done. Much leaner with only the necessary files for Pro Tools performance.